We're going to take it over to Jake, who's on the scene. I said, fuck it, Bob. I said, fuck it? Why are you in the studio? You, what did you do? You're an enabler, Bob. I was what clean for do? two weeks. No! And I... <laughs> We're still live. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm. Fuck, man. I'm Bob Hadithod, and today with me I have a. Uh, I have a. Uh, Jake, and the Nader Bader, and we also have a special ethereal guest with us, the Ness. Um. I guess we're going to go over to Nader Bait and get it started. I mean, uh, fuck, man. I mean, A New Ham A New Hampshire woman allegedly kept her mother's corpse for six months as social security checks continued to be deposited. The woman died of natural causes and was conveniently stored just out of sight. Uh, don't keep corpses. Even if it pays well, it's not fucking healthy. We're gonna go over to Jake, who's uh, in the middle of Nevada on an airplane. Hello, Bob. We are here live reporting from what seems to be a haunted house. Um, why, why are you at a haunted house, Jake? Jake, why are you at a haunted house? There are spirits entering. Uh, what are they entering, Jake? I'm, dude. You you guys can't throw me in the middle of this shit after a long fucking weekend. And Bob, what is your problem today? I don't have. We a are out. Problem. We're, we are trying to report I don't the news have and be a professional. Problem. I don't have a problem today. Man. I think you have been hanging out with Donnie a little <sighs> too long. I didn't hang out with Donnie. Don't even. All right, I hang out. I'm telling with Donnie. you what. I hung out with Donnie. You're it's been right. 14 days, and I've been clean, and I feel the best of my life. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what's I, happening with you, Bob. We're just trying to get the news. You've been telling me for months, for fucking months, to get my shit together, Bob. Yeah, and you I didn't finally, do it once, so I finally decided to have a about? good time. I'm not in Nevada. You told me I'm in Nevada. I, that's where you were supposed. To, oh shit! You're right. You yeah. were supposed to go to the haunted house. Bob, I'm going to give you one more time. The next scene you send Dude, me no, on. Dude, no, it's my job to yell at you guys. You can't turn this fucking... You can't turn this shit back on me. There's going to be an HR report, and I'm filing it. Uh, the Nader Bader You don't even know how to write. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I know you don't. Know. You're illiterate, too, aren't you? Oi. Bob... I'm going to keep my calm, keep my composure. Just no, because you're, you're acting like a, you're a little loony toony, fucking a, pussy a duddy over there, luddy. walking around thinking he knows how to write novels and shit, but you're not, you're not any of that shit. You're just, you're just trying to take my fucking job. Look at you all spiffy. Bob, you're going over the line. The line is here and you're up here, Bob. No. I need you to bring it down. No. We're trying to do the news. We're trying to report... What's fucking important to people? Well, you're maybe, making me. You're making maybe me. Maybe I'm just gonna take over the Nader Bader, and you can shut the fuck up. You can't do it. You, stop controlling me. I controlled. <laughs> I was the dreams. I had no idea what to do. Yo, I'm about to shit my shorts. Ooh, I'm popping out the curtains. It's a corpse. Ah, it's all stinky and ranky. Oh, but now he's kind of looking like he's a dinky. I didn't really have anything on that. He did better than Jake did. <laughs> Fuck you, Bob! No, you, God. you don't even know how to fucking do the news right now, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you over there with your fucking upside-down smile. 
Donnie, did you have anything to throw at him? Don't, no, okay, I'm doing the news. An exit sign on Delaware Highway was replaced after several drivers pointed out that it was... It, mis, it misspelled the name of the fucking state? Del Dot joked the sign's typo had been a test to see if drivers were paying attention. The ill-timed joke started a class action suit against Del Dot as many drivers shifted their full attention to the grammatical error, posting photos to social media. But drivers were paying attention, just not to the fucking road. Uh, this reckless stunt caused several accidents and hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxpayer revenue. We're going to take it back over to Jake, who should be... I am. I don't fucking care where you are I this am. time. What are, you do what are you doing? I'm supposed... I'm supposed to be out here reporting the Delaware uh, news, and you, I don't know where the fuck you send me. Now I'm at a kissing booth? Come on, Bob. There's people getting in accidents over a misspelled word, and you're over here just trying to do drugs and be I'm, edgy. I did drugs. I'm not trying to do drugs. This is the, Bob, this is a professional setup. What is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me, man. Well, obviously, I guess if you want to kiss... They're giving out kisses back okay. here at the booth in the woods. Um, How much do I the am kisses in, cost? Are they reasonable? I am in Delaware. It's to uh, help the relief fund for all the accidents. Is it fucking reasonable to pay for a kiss? How much would you pay for a kiss, Bob? I don't know. Give me some numbers. It's $12 for a pursed lip kiss. Open mouth kiss, $25. Oh, so if you want some tongue action, it's at least $20 fucking $5? Yeah, and if you went down and south in your mouth, it's about 54. Oh, that's an option. Where are you again? We are in Delaware helping the relief fund. I did not know for... Delaware was that progressive. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't. You're always at the burlesque shows, man. They ha I, Dude, this is the first fucking time in forever I let go, and I shouldn't have let Donnie take the fucking reins, because this shit's fucking nuts, Yeah, man. you were talking about Del Dot, which is your robot sex partner. Like, I don't understand why you have to bring her into it. What is wrong with you, Bob? What is on your, your agenda today? What What is going on in your brain? There's not shit going on in my brain. I'm just reading the words they fucking give me. What? I tried quitting this fucking months ago, and you told me, no, get your shit together. We got to get this going. I'm out here trying to do a nice, respectable uh, job reporting I'm going the to news. fucking Donnie. You're pissing me off. Donnie? Uh, sorry, Nader Bader. I did not mean to disrespect you. Uh, like disrespectful. So people are selling kisses? Bob, you're two sentences yeah. away from a stroke. You're going to die. Stop. Shut up. Oh, what you think? What you think about this? On the side of the road, selling kiss. Oh, it's all sweet and sticky. Oh, I'll take anyone. I'm not picky. Yeah, I'll kiss a butt. Yeah, oh, I'll kiss a nut. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but I went to a kissing booth. Today. <laughs> oh, we finally know exactly where the missing bullet used in the JFK assassination is. The mysterious disappearance of the bullet resulted from an ethereal time fluctuation. The rare event only happens when slack outweighs the universal call to action, thus creating a sub-dimension where the balance is permanently shifted in favor of the entity. When the entity emerges, it must dissolve any impurities. JFK's extreme amount of slack was absorbed into the new entity, or bullet, creating a new, more robust line of temporal degeneration. The entity has agreed to discuss its birth for the first time on television. We take you now live to her. Thank you, Bob. It all started when I was born. My mom went to McDonald's, and instead of getting a Big Mac, she ordered a multi-dimensional time-traveling murder weapon by accident. And thus I was born. I've also done side work. Recently I worked with Alec Baldwin as his bullet as well. Oh, so you're, uh, you're also, are you many bullets? All me. I'm just going many places, Bob. So basically what happens is the second there's a need, 
you emerge and are reborn? Yes. And like side work, I, I do side work. I will be the hard poop that has to push out of you before the soft poop comes. I also do that when I'm not a bullet. So are you available for hire? I am. I am. Uh, did any, any famous people hit you up lately about a specific, uh, um, besides ventures? Alec Baldwin, it's been slow. I just been doing the poop job a lot, Bob. I just been being a poop. But if you go to, uh, that bullet.com, that bullet.com, you heard it here first, folks. If you want that bullet, uh, just go get yourself, uh, potential, um, death. Yeah, I mean, there's no way to sugarcoat that. Uh, so we're going to take it back to the Nader Bader. Concentration. Uh, constipation. Assassination. Aiming my gun just for fun, I'm gonna pull the trigger, and then I brought out the sun, I'm a ghost. I'm taking care of the host, I'm floating around, and I'm fucking gonna butter your toast, and get to push it out like a hard-ass turd, cause that's a soft shit, oh man, that's the word. Oh, alright, uh... Alfred A. Wolfram, USA, kissed 11,030 people in eight hours at the Minnesota Resi Renaissance Festival on September 12th, 1998. Anyone who attended the Minnesota Residence Res Festival <laughs> on September 12th, 1998, if you <laughs> kissed Alfred A. Wolfham, please get yourself checked for a new variant of mono. Again, anyone who attended the festival on September 12th, 1998, if you kissed Alfred A. Wolfram, please get yourself checked for a new variant of mono. The new variant is exactly the same, except it's been labeled slightly more dangerous. We're going to take it over to Jake, who's on the scene. I said, fuck it, Bob. Said, fuck it. Why are you in the studio? You. What did you do? You're an enabler, Bob. I what, was clean for do? two weeks. No. And I am so happy to be here right now, Bob. Uh, the, what the fuck, man? You can't go. Did you did you see yourself in the mirror? Did you see yourself in the fucking mirror? No. Uh, there's no mirrors you didn't here, clean, man. You didn't clean there's yourself off? Some crazy ethereal spirit You're that popped up. You're fucking breathing cocaine on TV right now. I'm breathing cocaine because you're too fucking close to me. I was trying to do the show like you wanted me to, but obviously... Do you have fucking mono? Did you... Were you there? I was kissing everybody. <sighs> Fuck, man. <sighs> the... <sighs> So, are you going to be okay? Should I just get the ambulance ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take it back to the ethereal being and see if she's okay. I think I'm. A are you okay? Got it all the Bob, fuck I, over I, you. I too said fuck it. I too said <sighs> fuck it, and I'm just going to send it. And I did, Bob. I sent it. Yeah, I can see that. You Here both sent are. it pretty fucking hard. It's very no! sobering. for one last fucking song.
Jesus Christ, guys. You did this to us, Bob. You made us the way we are. <laughs> I'm going to say Fuck one, you, of the, Bob. one of the best ways to get sober is see everybody else get fucked. <laughs> Why you're fucked. Fuck. And then you watch the ratings just be like. I thought that's what they wanted, Bob. No, we're supposed to get the fucking ratings to go up, not the other way around. Just because you hold the TV upside down doesn't mean fucking shit. Well, this has been another exciting adventure on broken fucking news, because, you know, that's what we did again, is we fucking broke this shit. Uh, it's not my fault, Bob. It's not my fault. It's it is your fault, definitely Bob. your fucking fault. Bob. Well, thank you for tuning in, guys. If you have any more uh, exciting news stories you'd like us to cover, feel free to comment below and leave your name and address in the comments so that we can. Uh, no, don't don't do that. Don't do that. That's the that's the drugs talking. We can send help. <laughs>